What's up guys, Heking here bringing you another new review of Black Clover chapter 320 The cause of all this, is that what it's called? The cause of all this? Uh, let me just double check here quickly Yeah, the cause of all this, that's what the chapter is called So yeah, my second uh, Black Clover review and we're still very much in the fight against Lucifero with the magic uh, knights, so the captains taking him on. Uh, last chapter ended with Asta trying to go for a back uh, sneak attack. And this chapter literally begins where it left off, uh, where with Asta pretty much swinging his sword and only managing to cut off a bit of Lucifero's uh, horn off and mid pretty much missing hitting him in the back uh and yeah this infuriates him okay we we go from this dude sort of being calm and calling everyone pointless last chapter to just losing his cool and going on a vicious attack like he crop stops he grabs Oster by the face and tries to crop stop him calling him a, calling him a, a magicless brat essentially and then you got all the captains jumping in trying to rescue him. You start off with, uh, uh, what is it, Dorothy and Charlotte getting him out of the way from uh, from Lucifero's uh, crop stopping. And uh, them trying to use their magic to like block his attacks to no avail because it doesn't do anything. He, he, he knocks them aside as if they were nothing. You got Jack jumping in, trying to attack, and he just, you know, just calling him, like, telling him to vanish. Like, he, got, he, he flicks him away like he's nothing. You got Nozwo, you know, you know, you got all of them pretty much. Uh, you got, I think it was either it was it's Dorothy realizing that uh, anti magic can hurt him, and they're like, we need, you know, keep, you know, protect Asta, keep him safe. So that's pretty much what this entire chapter is. It's got it's all the magic knights jumping in trying to protect Asta because now he's become Lucifero's main main target at this point, and Dorothy and Charlotte knocked aside. Jack coming in saying, you know, he can't let the beds and show him off. Knocked aside. Noswell coming in with some heartfelt words like you know like him pretty much showing how showing how he's changed thanks to Asta like in terms of the fact that Asta has showed it that you know even a peasant has shown that they can fight for justice that they can be strong as well like they can be more than a royale and then he gets uh he gets bitch slapped by Lucifero for a second time you know last chapter we had him getting face popped as well and now he's getting bitch slapped by Lucifero, like he's become a punching bag at this point. So it's it, it's funny because you got him going in with this heartfelt message and he's just getting swept all, uh, away like, like a useless bug that he is. Which is a goddamn shame. And then we come to one of my favourite moments in this chapter with uh, 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 Mer Merolio and uh, Fergolio, brother and sister team up coming in, left and right. And going for a mega punch, and then in, in the center you've got the spirit dragon or the spirits of the fire salamander, right? And they're like, you know, they're looking for. They're both saying they're looking forward to Asta's future. And each one says something uh, related to themselves, you know. With uh, for Golion, it's like, you know, as a magic knight, and with Mario, it's it's as my prey, which is. Which is very interesting words to say uh, as my prey, like. Um, you know, if you if you wanted more evidence that she's a pretty tough badass cougar, yeah, <laughs> and, and I feel like that cements it. You know, she's clearly got a thing for Asta, like so. She she gives me uh, Zoraki vibes basically, but like in a whole different way, you know. <laughs> and cements herself as being my favorite female character in in this in this series, like hands down, like Tsunade. Or Unahara, like they, they don't have shit on on um, uh, Merorion, man. Like she's she's uh, she's she's freaking awesome. Like she's great. She's sexy. She's hot. She's she's nuts. She's a badass. God damn it, man. Deep down, we all know we want a woman like her, man. But uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, gotta bring that gotta bring that holiness level down a notch. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. But yeah, they both go for a mega team up punch using the fire salamander. And it looks like it's it's effective at first. But then it's not, because Lucifero just comes in swatting a, a, a Mario away and then grabbing Fergolion. And then the only one left, I believe, is is, is a Riff, I think. Uh, again, it's been a while since I watched the anime, so a lot of these names are getting mixed up for me. But uh, it's the Painter Magic Knight. And obviously he was the one who had like the... Uh, who gave them all like the uh, barrier or the shield power boost? So he's the only one left, and I think I I don't get really get what happens there, but I think uh, uh, Lucifero f 
flings uh, Fergolion at him and then just crop stops him as well. So now all the magic captains are pretty much down for the count. Uh, with the exception, of course, of uh, Vengeance and Yami, who are not in this fight at the moment. Uh, I'm assuming they are going to come in at some point. But this leaves Asta pretty much defenseless, and Lucifer goes to get him, blaming him for for all of this that's just happened, uh, which is which is nuts. Like this one little this one little sword swipe at the horn, just just made this dude explode. Like he went like seriously, he went from being pretty like calm and overpowered to I'm gonna kill this kid, like, get the hell out, everyone, like, go away, this kid's d done, like, he's died, like, and, uh, yeah, last second uh, rescue by Yuno, because, uh, Yuno, yeah, yeah, he comes in, last second, with, um, what's her name, with Mimosa, right, and, uh, and Tinkerbell, <laughs> and, and they save Asta's life at the last second, just before he can get his head crushed in by Lucifero's feet, and yeah, you know, it's like yeah, it's it's uh, you know, it's it's my you know, it's my turn now. Like so, you know, there to save the day. And uh, if I remember correctly, he killed Zenon obviously with, with the revelation that now he's got like now two or uh, uh, like two magic books now. So he's got like star power abilities now at this point because he's like sort of half elf, I believe. So maybe he stands a chance because his ability was effective against a devil. Uh, not to mention that Mimosa is now there as well, so she can technically start healing anyone that's down for the count. Though more importantly, the most important thing really would be to heal Asta because clearly they need his anti-magic for this. Because, yeah, Lucifero lost his shit there. Like, um, that guy got, like, it seems he got terrified at what Asta is capable of. Like, he got shook up, like... Whatever that one hit did, it must have nullified or at least damaged him somewhat for him to lose his cool like that. And unless it's a case of, yo, I'm pretty. You just damaged my pretty little horn. <laughs> like, no. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next. Uh, obviously, next chapter is going to be, you know, trying his best to keep uh, freaking Lucifero at bay with his magic. And I'm assuming he is going to have somewhat of a chance. But not enough to kill this or, or, or wound this dude. Just enough to keep him at bay, to give enough time for Mimosa to possibly heal Asta and maybe the other magic captains. And then er after that, everything's up in the air because we have no idea where this uh, rest of this arc or fight is going to go. We do have that one devil, that one uh, devil like that, that first appeared before Lucifero made his big show, right? Just sort of standing there and watching this fight unfold. And I'm very curious about this specific devil because like... Um, we, we don't know his name, we don't know who he really is, but uh, I get I get kind of like cold vibes from him, if that makes sense, from Boruto. I'm trying to think if I can relate him to anyone else, maybe like sort of like Toby as well, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Uh, like he, he, I'm looking at this dude and I'm feeling like he's a lot more powerful than like, we've not seen him do anything, okay? He's just standing there, sitting down and watching this fight. And he just seems like the most chillaxed, bored person in the world. And it's got me thinking, like, like what if Lucifero gets his ass beaten, right? Like, and then this guy just, like, pops up. And it's like, yeah, you thought this guy was, like, strong as hell? No. Like, flicks them all away. I don't know. I'm just getting these weird vibes from this, like, because he's just... Usually, you, you get this sort of big, powerful enemy, right? And they're really, really strong. They've been hyped up since the beginning. And then they get their asses kicked eventually. And then you got that one guy in the background who you're like, Oh, okay. I wonder what this dude's going to do. And he doesn't do anything. Like, he's just standing there. But then at the last second, he comes in and it's like, Oh, wow, this dude's actually freaking terrifying. Like, like look how powerful he is. So, I'm getting very bad vibes about Because he's just like... He's, he's like, he's like... He's like that dude, uh, like, I, I'm trying to think what character could I compare him to? Like I said, maybe, co like, cold. Like he, like I said, mo mostly he's giving me cold vibes from Boruto. Like, like you look at him and you're like, yeah, this dude's nobody. But then you realise, oh no, he is somebody. Like, so, yeah, I'm curious where this is going to go. But, uh, yeah, overall decent chapter. It's just a bit of a shame that it's a very fast-paced chapter. Again, it's an action chapter, so, obviously, no, 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 no big dialogue scenes here. But, uh... I'm, I'm loving where this is going, and I can't wait for next week. Seriously, I'm loving Black Clover. I loved watching the anime, guys. I loved it. I loved uh, catching up. 
and then I loved reading the manga and catching up to this and I'm just so happy to be reading this and experiencing this but uh, good god I am crossing my fingers you know every day that we get the anime back eventually and that this doesn't get cancelled because I keep hearing about how the sales for this are so very low and it's like no no like why are the sales low this this manga deserves to be high up man it's that good and yeah man just show some respect to black clover like uh i gave it a chance okay like even despite all the the stuff i read like the screaming and that like, it gets annoyed i gave it a chance i bought the first bloody box set you know i bought the first box set obviously I watched it, I loved it, and then I bought the second box set when it came out after waiting ages for it to be released. And then the next day they announced that the anime was getting what was ending, and I was like, oh, well, bloody hell. But then I watched it, and some of my favorite characters introduced in the season, Mario, and uh, what's his name? Uh, um, what's the dude in the Black Clover? Member, the member with the, with the scary looking face, like, I forget his name, but he, he's awesome, I love him. Again, I need to remember, I need to re remember all of these character names so it's going to be a case of me going online and looking up all the names of all these characters because I've forgotten a lot of them but yeah man I love this series and uh, yeah I can't wait to collect the rest of the anime and have that in my collection but good god I hope that they announce like a, a continuation because it deserves it like it's that good and yeah man just show some respect to Black Clover man it deserves it but yeah can't wait for next week's chapter and as always guys remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you when I shall see you take care and bye